I simply don't get it. One day I'm telling you, I don't have anything to say, so I haven't had any passion, there's nothing even going on. One day later, I've got such a pock, I can't believe, what the fuck? I'm motivated now. Welcome back to Rob's Feet Today. This is episode number 114, and I'm Rob Shendo. Maybe you're a college student living in a dorm. Maybe you just live in a small studio apartment. What you need to do is get over to dormco.com slash rob. Once you're there, you'll find all kinds of items specifically designed for folks living in small spaces. That's dormco.com slash rob. So I just got this Facebook message, and it says, The Headless Wonder of Arizona has spent far too many hours out in the sun. What is he talking about? Well, it's no, no stranger to this podcast has been Arizona Governor Jan Brewer. And I was all prepared to say something nice, something good about Ms. Brewer. But she goes and screws it up again. So I get more comfortable here. You know, she rightly vetoed their birther bill. That's the bill that would have required any candidate for the presidency of the United States to submit to the Secretary of State in the state of Arizona, of course, of course, Arizona, that's where this law would apply, a certified top original <laughs> of their birth certificate. Now, this is, of course, directed right at President Obama when he wants to seek re-election, but Jan Brewer, as governor, vetoed the bill. And what she said at the time was, it's too much power given to one individual, meaning whoever happens to hold the seat of Secretary of State would, get the veto, decide who's going to run for the presidency. And she didn't want that much power concentrated in one person. Bravo! And now she goes and fucks it up by signing a law giving the Tea Party flag the same status as the American flag. Yeah, you know, current law overrides any rule when it comes to the United States flag. The flags of any branch of the military, the state flag, the POW missing in action flag, and the flag of any Indian nation. Now, what they call the Gadsden flag is added to the, to the list. That's the yellow flag with the drawing of the coiled rattlesnake and the phrase, don't tread on me. How nuts is this? It reminds me of the last episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. If you've ever seen that on Hulu or wherever you might catch it, Ted Baxter, the imbecile anchor person, finally does the right thing, only momentarily, though. He offers to, to resign to save the jobs of all the people in the newsroom, Mary Lou Murray and the rest. But then he goes and says, I'm only kidding, and doesn't do it. Well, Murray Slaughter says, when a donkey flies, you really can't blame him if he doesn't stay up there forever. Well, I say about Jan Brewer. When a donkey flies, you really can't blame her if she doesn't stay up there forever. I'd like you to meet Lucas. He's received an offer to pose for Playgirl magazine. But he's turned it down. He's 28, and I think he's very cute. Playgirl's editor said uh, he was reaching out to Lucas because when he researched him, he was struck with how absolutely adorable he is. Plus, he thinks he has political ties that make him even sexier. Well, Lucas declined, said, As you can certainly understand, one must have a degree of anonymity when treating patients in the mental health community. See, he's a doctor. But you know what's even funnier? He's the son of Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. But he sounds too smart to be her son. And here's another face we should get to know. A nice, pleasant-looking woman. She, she looks intelligent, just friendly. The kind of person you like immediately, right? Well, here we go again, folks. Looks 
can be deceiving. This pleasant looking young woman happens to be a member of the Montana State Legislature. Let's go to Montana. Let's examine it. Not a very gay friendly area, would you say, except for one place. The city of Missoula. Missoula, Montana has protections in the law for gay, gays and lesbians. I don't know how extensive it is. I don't know particularly what it is, but it, they're there. So the state legislature says, oh, we can't have this. Not in our Montana. So this representative, Kristen Hansen, introduces legislation to kill across the entire state. Any protections for, for gay lesbian people? Well, it's good news, though. She failed at her efforts. So thank you to the legislatures in Montana. But now, according to Joe My God, one of my favorite blogs I've told you about before, he's got a headline. It says, remember the asshat legislator who tried to repeal LGBT rights in Montana? She's totally a closeted lesbian. So says his trusted tipster, who adds this about Montana State Representative Kristen Hansen. She lives with a woman who she introduces to as her uh, introduces people to as her friend. But uh, others have confirmed, to at least to a handful of people, that this is her partner. And her ex has also been telling people what's up. She's a teabagger. She's a lesbian. She's anti-gay. She has a partner. That nice looking face is what evil looks like. Now this is so contrary to the purpose of this podcast. This podcast is supposed to be a positive for gay people. Speak highly of gay people. Expose hypocrisy, those who aren't gay. And my God, what am I looking at right here? It's, it's just so unbelievable that someone can be so blatant in their, in their hypocrisy and so evil. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, rate it and comment on iTunes, and if you can, we really could use the money, if you can go to robsfeedtoday.com, right there in the right-hand column, there's a PayPal button. You can send a donation our way as well. And thanks again for downloading. Thanks for watching. I think that's, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs>